Let's move on now to the final email of the day. And the final email today comes to us from Kevin Rubio, a good friend of ours, Kevin Rubio, who writes, Mission Impossible Fallout dropped this week. Obviously not in theaters. It dropped on uh, home video. Dropped this week, and that got me thinking. You cite Daniel Day-Lewis as the greatest actor of our generation. Actually, I, I think he's pretty much the greatest actor of all time. Anyway, presumably because of his total immersion into a role. No, but I'll get to that in a minute. I argue, I argue, Tom Cruise has shown the same commitment and total immersion in his roles. Should he not be given the same consideration? How is learning how to become an expert fashion designer or speaking with a perfect accent any less of a feat than learning how to fly an F-22 Raptor? All right, thanks a lot for the question, Kevin. And yeah, okay, so first of all, Kev, you make the assumption that the reason... I believe Daniel Day-Lewis is not just the greatest actor of our generation, but probably the greatest actor of all time. Is not because of, let's bring up the email again, because of his total immersion in the role. No, it's because he's the best actor. It's because I do not believe there has ever been an actor on the big screen that so totally convinces you they are that actor character. He brings power and passion and subtlety and everything you need, he brings to every single role. And he can play any kind of role. He can be the great Abraham Lincoln and he can be Bill the Butcher. He can drink your milkshake and do and just about anything else and you know, show you his left foot. Look, Daniel Day-Lewis is the best actor in the world, not because he immerses himself in his role, not because he learns tailoring to play a tailor, not because he does... No, no, no. Those are all just things he does to help him get to this point. But at the end of the day, it's about performance. And while I am a huge... Look, everybody knows... I am a massive Tom Cruise fan. I think Tom Cruise is great, but there is no way, no way in hell you can put Tom Cruise in the greatest actor of our generation or the possibly the greatest actor of all time conversation. I love Tom Cruise. I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise, the movie star. And you know what? Unlike, say, like a Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who is a great movie star, Tom Cruise is also a really solid actor. He's a very solid actor. He's got an Academy Award nomination. I believe his, his nomination came for uh, uh, Magnolias. If, anyway. Um, no, no, not Magnolias. What was his... Um, what It was the one he did with Penelope Cruz. What was the name of that movie? I just talked about this movie the other day, and now I'm freezing on Anyway, Tom Cruise is a good actor. He's a good actor. He ain't in Daniel Day-Lewis's category. Not just not in Daniel Day-Lewis's league, he's not in Daniel Day-Lewis's category. And that's not a slight on Tom Cruise. There are very, 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 very few actors in history that are in Daniel Day-Lewis's category, that are within his universe, that are within his league. So uh, that's not me casting any shade on Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is great. But look, just, you know, being dedicated to your role is not what makes you a good actor. Like, look, LeBron James may spend four hours a day in the gym practicing shots, practicing basketball, right? Okay, I could do that too. I'll, I'll go into the gym and do five hours a day. Are you going to say, well, then John Campy's a better basketball player than LeBron James because he puts in all that work? No, I can put in as much work as LeBron James. Doesn't mean I'm going to be as good. I don't have that talent. He does. So, look, I am fanatical about Tom Cruise because he's like, I want to learn how to fly this helicopter for this shot. I want to be the one hanging off the side of this plane. I want to be, I want to learn to fly, fly a fighter jet for, you know, Top Gun 2. But I love that. I think it's great. Does that make his movies more interesting? Yes. Does it make his performance any better? No. It doesn't make his performance any better. And his performance is good. He's a good he's a good actor for sure. In Daniel Day Lewis's category? Nah, Kevin, I got I got one thousand percent disagree with you. 
Danny DeLewis is not the best because he does method or because he immerses himself or because he learns to... He's the best because when it comes time to turn on the camera and act, he's the best there's ever been. He's the GOAT. He's the Bret Hart, man. He's the best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. And uh, anyway, that's just the way I see it. But again, it's all subjective. It's whatever you think. If that's what you think, that's great. I'm not going to dispute it. I'm just going to say you can't convince me of that. Uh, To me, he's just in another stratosphere, just in another complete stratosphere.